up here. Boys and girls, why do you think that African penguins want to live by the sea? Why do you think Stubby wants to live by the ocean? Their favorite food lives in the ocean and they also like to go swimming. So they do like to have lots of fun by the sea. Now, little Stubby, before she looked like this, she would have looked like this penguin here. She would have been an African penguin chick. Now, African penguin chicks are covered with this fluff. Um, and you'll also see that they have very, very large mouths, but they don't have any teeth. Instead, they've got a long tongue that has little kind of blades on it that helps them swallow their fish. Now, once they've lost all of their fluff, we're going to call them blues. So over here, this would still be a chick because you can see there's still fluff coming off of the penguin. But here, this penguin doesn't have any fluff at all. So this penguin we would call a blue. And Stubby is a little blue. Aww. Now, why is it that Sankob sees so many African penguin chicks? There are two reasons. The first one is overfishing. Now, overfishing is when we catch too many fish and we don't leave enough food in the ocean for other animals to eat. And climate change, how it's affecting us at the moment, is that the earth is much hotter than it used to be. So you'll find that many animals get confused about what time of year it is. We know that it's summertime because we can check what month it is. But for penguins, they don't have little calendars in their houses, and they don't have phones that they can check what the date is. So they tell what time of year it is by how the weather feels. And if they think it's summertime, they're going to start losing their feathers and they will molt. Now, this is a picture of an African penguin molting. And the penguin is losing its feathers. It's not going to eat at all. So if this is a mommy penguin and she has a little baby penguin to take care of, she can't go into the ocean to catch food for both of them. So that's why we get a lot of African penguin chicks at Sankob. But Stubby is special. Stubby actually didn't wind up here for either of those reasons. And we're going to talk about her story now. Now, little Stubby here, you'll be, you'll be hearing her all the time. She's been making little honks and little noises all the time here. She's having a very, very happy day. Now, little Stubby came to Sankob when she was only a few days old. And she weighed 87 grams, which is very, very, very light. It's about the weight of a small apple. And she would have been the size from about your nose to your chin. So that's how big Stubby would have been when she first arrived at Sankop. Very, very small. She was just a little chick that had only just hatched. Now she came in because her mom made a nest in someone's garden. And then that person's cat came and bit Stubby in her back. <coughs> Shush, shush. So that person's cat came and bit her in the back, and this caused her to get sick, and she got an infection. Now that's a really big word, but we all get infections. If you've ever had a cold, or if you've ever had the flu, you haven't had an infection before. But if you're really small and you get an infection, it can cause you to not grow properly. So if you look at Stubby's cute little flippers, you'll see that her infection caused her flippers to not grow properly. And you can see that they're kind of cut off a bit suddenly. So because Stubby has these shorter flippers, she can't swim as well as the other penguins. She would struggle to catch fish on her own, and she would struggle to swim away from her predators. Predators are the animals that would want to attack her or eat her, like sharks and seals and some types of whales. So when we decided to keep her here, we let her move into the Penguin Hotel at Sankob, which is a big, beautiful pen where all of our permanent penguins live. And there are 52 penguins that live here with us. Because we, And even if someone is bullying you, is it okay to just bully them back? No. No, of course not. So little Stubby was being bullied by other penguins, but instead of bullying them back, she tried to make friends with them. 
Because normally if someone is bullying you and if someone is being mean to you, it's because they're feeling sad about something and they just want a friend. So she was nice to all the penguins and now she's got lots of penguin friends at the hotel.